definitely a squeak. I just can't tell whether it's saddle or the horse. <laughs> Didn't grow sure, was that? Seems an ornery critter. Seems like an ornery palomino or a, or a pinto. That's why you get on with it then, being a milkman. <laughs> <laughs> Ride a pinto horse a day. Uh -huh. I like that. I think he's getting used to me. I never knew that horses were this big. Oh, I need a ladder to get on that one, Cyril. Butch. Sorry, Butch. <laughs> you know, there's nothing finer than riding flat out the wind in your face and the sun beating down. Where do you do that? The M6. <laughs> no horse? No. They don't allow horses on motorways, do they? On yonder. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, word of advice, Cyril. Uh, always have a healthy respect for animals, especially four-legged kind. Oh, I do. Uh, I do. And now and I want I Oh, I'm ready for a cuppa. Oh, backbreaking that job is. Well, don't overdo it, Dutch. I could do with a hand when it comes to digging over. That's rough pasture out there. There's a bit of a tight schedule at the moment, helping Percy organise things. He's got a staff for that. Only Bert. And the Welsh boy. Oh, Cyril's not paid staff, love. Well, I suppose I'd better put the kettle on. Well, I would, love, but I must finish this. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Watch you don't scorch that fringe. <laughs> So when can you give me a hand with the garden? Uh, uh, patio, lobby. Now, Percy only agreed to a patio. The ground has to be levelled and sanded before the coloured flagstones are delivered. Uh, which of the six colours did you choose? All of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, finished. Now then, what about our sign? Uh, what sign? The one that Percy painted out this morning. Uh, do you mind if I a change while we're talking? Oh, if you must. Well, I would like to suggest Madame Rita's high-class ladies' dress emporium. It's tasteful and authentic. <laughs> Thomas, you're not wearing your long johns in this weather. It's obligatory, ducks. I've no choice. Oh, I've lost my thread. Oh, yes. Do you realise that that picture of me in the evening paper could have been misinterpreted? Uh, which one was that, love? The one of me greeting the mayor. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, what did it say right above our heads? Madame Zizi's House of Joy. Well, exactly! Oh! <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. So you will tell Percy straight away that we want Madame Rita's high-class ladies' dress emporium on that sign. That's all, Thomas. You want a cup of tea before you go out to play? <laughs> ah, Bert! As we're on our own, I'd like to have a word. Could you spare a minute? Just pouring wheels on the piano, Jesse. So I see. I wish you'd spoken to me first, Bert. I'm sure we could have found some more authentic-looking casters than those, however. Oh, she'll move at a touch when I've finished. Yes, yes. Well, I'm glad if it makes things a bit easier for you. Myself, I always think that a few seconds' consultation can save hours of misunderstanding, which is what I wanted to talk to you about. Now, listen. I've been considering your suggestion of last night. And although it hey, bears a lot of merit... Hey, the sling already? Yeah, quick healing. Always have been. Just a minute, Cyril. I, I was talking to Bert. I like that waistcoat, Jesse. Haven't seen that before. Oh. <laughs> Thanks much. Only got it last week. Big Jake's trading store in Wigan. No, 50p from Oxfam. 
great. You look just like John Wayne, except for the head. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Mighty fine day out there. Look at Jesse's new waistcoat, kid. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, aye. My old pappy had one just like that. What it needs is a nice, heavy gold watch chain just to set it off properly. I've got one, actually. I just didn't think to put it on. Do you know what I fancy? One of those black tailor jackets like James Garner wears with the red lining. Jane who? <laughs> James Garner. Him that used to be Maverick. Real Garner. dude character. Garner, Garner. Does Rockford Files. You'd know him in a minute if you saw him. Oh, I'm sure I know him. I... Trouble is, I've only got a black and white set, so a red lining wouldn't mean out to me. <laughs> Duel in Diablo, he was in, 1966. Support your local sheriff? 1969. And, of course, the sequel, Support Your Local Gunfighter. Tom Mix, I remember him, OK. <laughs> this James Garner of yours got a waistcoat like Jesse, has he? Not unless he shops at Oxfam. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Hi there. Oh. Hey. Everybody's dressed up today. New boots, Tom. Aye, Big Jake's in Wigan. First time on. Don't forget the wagon train pulls out at noon, Tom. You won't want to get your new boots mussed up. Oh, just breaking them in. I'll change out of all this lot before we leave. Jesse's got a new waistcoat on. Got a red lining. Oh, nice. Look, fellas, the fact is, I was just about to have a conference here with oh, Bert and... Oh, damn! I'm sorry, Jesse, I forgot. You asked me to remind you about a conference, planning meeting, he said. Sit down and chew the fat. Come on, fellas. Oh, uh, hey, I didn't mean today, necessarily. Oh, there's no time like the present, Jesse, as we're all here. Yeah, and I've got something I need to mention. But I haven't even got my notes with me. And there's a question on my stump work. I'm working on something a bit special at the moment, Jesse. I want to capitalise on the press I've been getting. You know, front page of the evening, Clarion. And this morning's globe, Bert Allroyd the spectacular fall from roof of saloon. More pictures inside. I don't know how they got that picture of me arriving at casualty department. <laughs> Didn't do a lot for my image. Well, it's about newspapers, I need to say. It's about my Rita and this Madame Zizi business. And, well, to cut a long story short... Yes, please, Tom. <laughs> well, Rita feels that she should have a say in choosing the new sign. Well, thank God she never saw what Cyril painted up there. Now, hear me out, Jesse. I'm listening with a totally open mind, Tom. What was it your Rita wanted to suggest? Madame Rita's high-class ladies' dress emporium. <laughs> well, I know it's not perfect, but at least it's a basis for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest with you, Tom, I like it. <laughs> So do I, Jesse. Yep. I like the high class bit. <laughs> I've known a few of them in my time. I'm not saying yes, mind, but it's certainly worthy of serious consideration. Uh, <clears throat> we, we do need more activities, Jesse. More? Well, just, just little things to fill in the spare parts of the day between meals and that. <laughs> I don't want to upset you, Jesse. Oh, you could never do that, kid. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> uh, well, well uh, everyone's having a great time here, no doubt about that. But? The grub's great. Oh, it's the best I've ever had on holiday. And, and Cyril's video selection couldn't be bettered. And Tom's joinery and, and the finish on the woodwork is perfect. Very clean beds. <laughs> but just... A little short on the action this week. I see. Well, let's be honest. If it hadn't been for sealing the town off and building the barricade last night, everyone could have been in bed by nine o'clock. It's <laughs> nightlife you're after. You should go to Tenerife. <laughs> no offence from here, Jesse, because I'm having the time of my life. It's the best holiday I've ever had, and that includes Shanklin in 1946. <laughs> ah, well... As you know, I'm always open to criticism. Oh, no, it, it weren't criticism, Jesse. It, it, it's just a, a, a constructive and meaningful suggestion. That's it. That's all it is, yes. I mean, land sakes, you've, you've only been in business a week. Aye, well, the horses having equinine flu didn't help matters. <laughs> well, you have got an horse today. That'll cheer folk up a bit. There's four more on the way from the stables any minute for the wagon train. Oh, well, there you are, then. I still say my trap gold miner could prove a winner. Eh? Sounds good. You all ride out to a 
were working, see, panning for gold, and then the alarm goes. What's happened, Bert? Miner trapped below. What then, Bert? The first to find me is the winner. You're the miner? The old grey beard, hat pinned up at the front, great value. <laughs> There's one small flaw. We don't have a mine. <laughs> it's a cave on the other side of the hill I told you about. How long do you think it's going to take anyone to find you in a six-foot cave? Well, we have got the Indian uprising. Indian uprising? Bert, this is neither the time or place to mention our feathered friends. How long does an Indian uprising take? I mean, will it fill a whole afternoon, Jesse? Not this. You can only cram so much into one week. Now, I'm sorry I've been complaints. Oh, no, 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 But I'm sure this little outing we're planning to embark upon will satisfy even the Chesterfield common heroes, if we all pull our weight, that is. Jesse, can I tell Rita she can definitely have her sign? Tom? I'll ring Dougie Shrimpton, or his wife, and ask him to come and write the sign as soon as he can. Oh, thanks very much, Jesse. Shoot in the rapids! Shoot in the rapids? The nearest river's miles away and it's only two feet deep. It's the reservoir. How can you shoot rapids on a reservoir? <laughs> we still haven't had a lynching. The reason we haven't had a lynching yet is because we haven't built the jet. Lynchings are in the brochure, though, Jesse. Got to be careful of the Trade Descriptions Act. Exactly. And I've been described as a stuntman everywhere and I haven't done any stunts for 48 hours. <laughs> Do you realise that the horses and wagons are here? Oh, no. We got sidetracked in here. Planning meeting. Very productive, too. Well, what a duff thing to have when there's so much on. Sorry, love. Uh, look, fellas, meeting's adjourned, OK? Oh, Bert. Uh, excuse me, fellas. Um, I just want to have a quiet word with Bert on his own. Oh, of course, Jesse, and uh, thanks very much for being so understanding about Rita. I'm just out on the veranda if you want me, Jesse. Right. <clears throat> now then, what I was trying to say before all that happened was, I've been thinking about your suggestion to have prawn cocktail crisps besides the smoky buffalo. <laughs> and I'm very sorry to say, I've had to decide against it on the grounds of authenticity. Fair enough, Percy. Only a suggestion. Well, I'm not against creative suggestion. I mean, well, I think I've proved that just now. I mean, I was totally unprepared for that meeting, but I welcomed it. Nice to know, is that? With open arms. I thought it was good, too. I just wish you'd kept your mouth shut about the Indian uprising, that's all. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jesse. No harm meant. Look, if I tell you something in confidence, employer to employee, i.e., that I have the matter in hand, please extend the courtesy of allowing me to arrange a surprise Indian uprising without you blurting it all out. Ah, oh, you're not doing such a bad job, Bert. So far. <laughs> Are you all set to go? Oh, aye, Jesse. The pony club is massing in the foothills right now. <laughs> Typical of your father to hold a meeting when there's so much to be done. It just doesn't think. Look, love. I oh, really am sorry about that. I mean, it was ridiculous. They all pounced on me. I wish you'd have come in sooner. So do I. Now, the food's in there, so don't tilt it. Right. As fellow co-director, I feel I should have been at that meeting, Dad. You promised me I could attend any policy discussions. Well, it was just a chat. I mean, nothing official. I mean, the boys were just giving me some feedback. Gossiping, you mean. Well, even back in Blackpool, we used to listen if the guests had complaints. Complaints? That's the wrong word. Uh, suggestions. Maybe we should have a suggestion box. That's asking for trouble. Well, they can't have out wrong to say about the food. No, no, they all love the grub. Well... A few of them might wish it to be a bit more Western-like, but... Every uh... plate's come back clean, and that's what I go by. Activities! That's all they were on about. Shooting the rapids! Oh, well, that's your department. One of those common cheeros is saying the thing he liked was getting away from the humdrum plastic values of today. Well, there you are, then. I mean, that is what Apache Wells is all about. Look, our Betty. Grab to the side of that and give me a hand. <clears throat> and don't jiggle anything. <laughs>
You all right, Bert? Just practising a new stunt. And that's it? Of course not. It's the old Texas saddle leap. You can't do that. Nothing to it. Run along roof, drop into the saddle, and gallop off. You want any help? No, thanks. But what if horse moves? <laughs> uh, uh, Would you like to hold it steady? Oh, I'm not very good with horses. Oh, all right. I'll just do a trial run first, Tom. Hang on. <laughs> Time to sit down, Bert. Second. Come on, lads, who's driven before? How about you, Tom? I've got an HGV license. <laughs> That's good enough. Throw the board and we're off. There's a good lad. they don't get lost. Your father never had any sense of direction. They've got an AA book with them. <laughs> used to come along. I wasn't asked, like most things around here. Now don't fret yourself about that meeting. A lot of hot air, that's all it will have been. It's just the principle of the thing. Well, I'll speak to your father tonight. Maybe you could do your toe tapping in the cabaret. Oh, mother, for heaven's sake. This is James. Could I have a word? Oh, no. I thought I was going to have a peaceful afternoon. still. Wagons of white eyes not yet seen. No need to get riled up.
que mo sabe. Ready. Hang on, lads. These should be sourdough and pork belly. Mine's cucumber on all meal. Oh, dear me. What's in the other box? Individual fruit pies. <laughs> you know, Isabel really ought to be an Edgar Ronnie's. But it's never ever Western, is it? Delicious, though. Any crisps aboard, Jesse? <laughs> Everyone keep their eyes peeled. We might just have a spot of Indian trouble. Well, unless they're fond of individual fruit pies, they'll have slim pickings around this train. Shoot till they get within range. Oh, Save your ammunition. Right. It's not cheap. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look, just one more time, else I'll have to flame him. Walk! <laughs> Kim Asabi. <laughs> <laughs> just what you'd expect from an horse called Kenneth. <laughs> 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 Jesse, that's exciting, wasn't it? Oh, my God, I enjoyed that, even though I say so myself. Uh, did you happen to spot Bert among that lot? No. That's funny. Did Bert mastermind the entire Indian uprising? Where the hell is he? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to be getting back. There's only 90 minutes to chow time. Probably. <laughs> well, Cyril, I reckon we gave him good value today. Oh, yes, great, Jesse. The good bird will be a bit sore tomorrow, though, after the day in the saddle. 
<laughs> no, no, it won't worry him. He's a very experienced rider, is Bert. He once spent a whole weekend pony trekking. <laughs> oh, will he be all right there? Well, time to move out. Another day tomorrow, as my mum always says. Hi, Bert. I'm just off home. Been out on the town, have you? Aye. To all night chemists. <laughs> oh dear. What's the matter, Bert? Oh, just the old trouble playing up again. I've got a bottle of embrocation. Come and sit down for a minute, lad. Uh, no, no, not right now, thanks, Jesse. I'll be all right. You'll uh, fix the roof in the morning, won't you? Yeah, first thing. Yeah. Oh, you really are in pain, Bert, aren't you? Is it your arm? <laughs> Nearly right, but... 